Welcome to episode number three of the Odessa Acting Workshop and Competition. On last week's episode, we had a photo challenge where each contestant was given five minutes to come up with the ideal picture. So, you know, let us try there's nothing to be ashamed of. Yes, me. Thank you for letting me use your clothes on No problem. Yeah. All right, then I guess I'll stick. Going down. Seeing you okay? You're going down. Okay. You think you're all of that, Mr. Joey? You know, you the one that can wear heels? You little Latino, do you <laughs> thing going back and forth with oh. the hair. You're going down. Yeah, I, I, I mean, mean, it's not even bad. Going down. Hello actors, this is our first challenge um, for the new acting uh, workshop. Um, this challenge to the winner is worth $100. Um, it's a non-elimination challenge, so all of you will continue on to the next challenge. And so over the next several weeks, um, we will um, do a lot of things together, so I'm very excited. And this is the first one. After lots of running around and changes of outfits, Joey Fino was the first person to win a challenge and banked $100. On this week's episode, teams are given 75 minutes to write, direct, and plan their own commercial for the historic White Pool House Museum here in Odessa. Well, we had our first mini challenge, and we broke up into groups of two, and based on the performance and from the judges, from myself and Mark, we have um, a, two winners. Um, this is a very important mini challenge win because you'll serve as the directors and pick your team for your commercial at the White Pool House. So the winners are, um, if I call your name, please step forward, Rachel Brenham okay. and oh. Eric Waters. <laughs> so you're going to serve as the directors at the White Pool House. Uh, the assignment, this is your second main challenge. The assignment is that you're going to do a one minute commercial. Everybody on your team must speak in that one minute. You'll have 15 minutes to film the commercial, and you'll have one hour to plan it. Um, so make sure you know who your target audience is, um, why we're at the White Pool House, and a little bit of the history of the White Pool House. Faye Roper, who is the executive director, will meet us out there, and she'll be able to answer questions and give you a tour. Um, I would plan my commercial inside today, because outside nobody will hear you. Um, the White Pool House, if you don't know, is the oldest standing remaining structure in Odessa, so it's really important. Have either one of you ever been there? No. Yeah. Okay. The research. Um, so, Rachel, let's um, um, start with picking teams. So you pick first. Who would you like on your team? Four people, you said? Um, well, you pick one, and then Eric gets to pick one. Okay. So you'll have four. And... Oh, I see. <laughs> well, you'll have, in the end, you'll have five, and he'll have four. So. Kate. Okay, so Kate, come on up. You're on Rachel's team, so if you guys step over here. Um, Eric, who do you want on your team? Zoe. Zoe, okay. Rachel? Joey? Eric? Kermit, okay. Yeah. Okay, Stephanie, step on over here. Okay, so you're... So it's going to be the young people against old people, Tariq and Bob. Wait a minute. That's no old people. That's no So Tariq will automatically be on your team. And so remember that each of you have to speak and that you'll have one hour to write. Um, so now we'll go over to the White Pool House and we'll start our assignment. Now that the contestants have picked teams, let's watch Team Eric and Team Rachel as they plan out their commercial. I can make it rock while, while we're like filming. 
And where are you going with that? Yeah, I can do the first one. Can one of you go find out how, when this house was built? Yeah, it was built in 18... So like, 18... Oh... I'm stuck with the next The last one was it together. Oh, so can we just... Oh, we'll say this together, okay. Um, I think wire would be added into. Uh, I'm thinking we should probably focus on the 640 acres because that's that's a lot. We could basically say the poor family owned Odessa. Unless you want to chop off that question in half and make it a second one, but see that would yeah. that would kind of kill it in a way. Because well, once we're out. Oh, okay. that. Well, yeah, yeah. Your bag, right? Ay, Dios mío, this <laughs> thing that is the hunted. <laughs> I'm just thinking what you're saying. You're, you're giving them the scale. You do. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I got to Yeah, you're coming to take away, too. It definitely would. Yeah, but just we, need, we just need to give add that spice to it. We can add spice without adding. Yeah. 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 It's, it's original. original. It's it can original. be all in Kermit's. It can all be in it can all be in Kermit's. I can't speak in. It can all be in Kermit's performance. Do you remember that old globe? commercial about how advertising the globe is just one dude and he's dressed up and he bounces around while he talks about it and it ends up in different areas and he pops out of a place and talks. I yeah, found that I found that commercial interesting, but it was in but it was um it gave us the information that we needed. It was simple and mainly it was just one person just, you know, talking to him. As the clock clicks down, a conflict develops among Team Eric between Eric, Zoe, and the rest of the team. During the commercial part of the, this competition, I let Zoe take over more because I thought she had more experience, but then at the same time I saw I was able to take control, so that's when I tried stepping back in as the leader, it didn't, I didn't fit in so well. I'm holding myself back when I could put myself more forward and learn more. Oh, the white pool house friends. Now this historic land is this is ran by the white pool house. At the halfway mark, it was time to check in with each of the teams to see what their plan and their strategy was. Any questions you've asked Faye, or is there anything that you needed, or she's given us a lot of information. Okay. And so, what way are you aiming to go with this? We definitely want to give information about the, the White Pool House to let them know just some historical okay. value and it being a historical landmark. So who's your demographic? I, I will, we are also throwing in the, the, the spooky aspect of okay. it. The girls so, kind of want to do a jingle and do a little spooky okay. at the end. Right. And is that okay with Faye? Yes. Yeah, okay. okay. So that is our, that is our, our demographic of role is to try to appeal to everyone, but we also are trying to kind of grow in um, to thrill people, which also appeals to everyone. Okay. Well, we're halfway done, so I'll let you get back to it. Go check with the people upstairs. Make good work. Okay, so what avenue are you approaching this with? All right, avenue way exactly? I mean, the other team is doing very informational as, as far as giving the... A lot of information in one minute time. So, tell me what your approach is for your course. Our approach is to bring in people so like that they could be able to view this history, all this history, for themselves. Because we want to spoil it for them. We want to bring them interested back. Leave it thinking. I wonder what's in the pool, white pool house. Or maybe I should go check it out. And what's your focal point going to be? My focal point. It's for a, a whole family. No, but I mean, as far as what room or where do you want to? Have you figured that out where you're going? No, actually, we're just focusing on like the major rooms. Okay. And just this one, for example. This is probably where we're going to end. Yeah. Okay, we're going to end here. Okay. This one will probably be the, the main, main room out of all of them. We're probably thinking of focusing on three rooms. And this one, and on this one, because this one has so much personal things in it. Okay. And then one thing, as a director, you're going to have to think about lighting, because some rooms are not so well lit here. Now, we do have the one light downstairs, but um, that will only help you so much. Okay. Well, we're halfway done, so you got 30 more minutes to finish. So, I'll let you to it. Thank you. While Team Rachel was planning and timing their commercial, Team Eric was still having conflicts and had yet to settle on a common script. <laughs> so, you're ready to go. Ah, we're here. I'm ready. Ready and go. We're here today. One of Odessa's best kept secrets. Wow. Is this a good spot? Where else? Welcome. We're here at the White Pool House, the, the oldest 
Mm -hmm. Structure yeah, in the city of Odessa. This place has been preserved as a museum. For most of you that don't know, this place is open to the public mm -hmm. and completely free. Estamos aquí en la casa Waipo, la casa más antigua en la ciudad de Odessa. Este hogar ha sido preservado como un museo. It's up to you, Rachel. Yeah, just, I like some of the other relics. I know. Yeah. 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 Is this them also? That is part of the family. Let me see. Oh. Well, this house shows the time gap between now and then. What what changed? What improved? What's so special? Yeah. Yeah. What? Okay. How did it come to be? Maybe or put like, yourself oh, in the, the shoes. We are built. we are modern. We yeah. are modern citizens. You come into a house like this, and you're like, damn, this is cool. Yeah. <laughs> um. So what is this place? Oh look, that's it's, cool china. Where'd you get this stuff? Well, that's that's answering. That's, like, those are a bunch of little places. Like whenever we were at the White Pool House, you know, it was it was like this mini battle going on between you know Eric and Zoe, and I was just like, you know, you guys, let's just get to the point to where we're coming to. Let's not try to over exaggerate on each side. Let's just meet halfway. Also, like we can film one person popping up saying. Wow, look at this stuff, and and well, it's making the house right. work. So, so then we're again. not sticking with the tourist theme. Yeah, because I'm all thinking right. it, it's if, good, just I'm thinking that's more of a... I think it's too plain. Yeah. Yeah. All right. yeah, if too we're doing dull. that, dull. then I'm ending it since I look like this. Yeah, like, and then I you can, can say like, like, come help us. Where it is, yes. when to come, open time. I mean... Like, it's kind of frustrating because at the same time, everything has to be exactly their way. Anything that they don't like is completely wrong to them. So it's really hard, especially with Zoe, because everything with her has to be rehearsed and if it's not rehearsed like a hundred times then it can't be done and then my methods and her methods were kind of clashing because I'm more of a improv person I I change things up so with her it was really hard and I even told her I'm sorry but our methods are kind of clashing and then I and it was kind of difficult but we were able to work through it we were able to she felt kind of unpleased with what we ended up doing, but at the same time, it was at the same time better. Like, well, you gotta understand, some people don't know where this place is. Yeah. Well, that's Do you know mean. all of the stuff you're gonna say, like for that? Do you like to. I don't know the exact location, I just know how to get here. <laughs> I was like, I know how to get here. <laughs> but yeah, but should we go ask her and stuff? It's on the corner of Murphy and Grant. Can't miss it. Hey. Morning. Thank you, 10 minutes! Thank you, 10. Okay. I mean, I, we could do something like that, yeah. or one of us would change anything now. I don't I, I don't think so. I mean, you guys go ahead, because I'm I'm kind of worried now. To be honest, we, we have the right idea. Yeah. We yeah. Think we should have I, I think we just so need to add kid. something. I mean, something simple, something yeah. not like a huge rack that you have to make up. When I'm set up with a group of my equals, and having to come up with ideas, I want to take the main stream with roles, and I know, and I knew that Eric was supposed to be the director, and it was hard reeling myself in, but it was also trying to get everybody. We all had different ideas, and having to come together on a single thing and not change it, it was because during the 10-minute mark, they were all like, "Whoa, well, we need to do this, and we need to do this. Let's add a rap to it," and it's too late. It's too late. Uh, Eric was the leader of that group, and I feel like Eric kind of got pushed aside and Zoe kind of took over. And we had 10 minutes, so I mean, we had time to put everything together because we already had everything we were going to say for the commercial. But I feel like she kind of pushed that group because she wanted it the way that she kind of envisioned it. And we had some really good ideas at the end, but we really didn't get to input them into the commercial. Now it came time to film the commercials. Three, two. Now the White Pool House friends gladly accept your donations to keep the White Pool House. Oh, sorry, okay. I lost my. Yes, first you part. did. Let's do it. <laughs> I lost what I was saying. Okay, let's do it one more time. Three, two, one. Hello, welcome to the White Pool House. Oh, no, I guess. And now let's watch the final commercials. We are here today at one of Odessa's best-kept secrets, a historical landmark called the White Pool House Museum. 
built by Charles and Lucy White 125 years ago. Bienvenidos a la casa White o la casa más antigua de la ciudad de Odessa. Este lugar ha sido conservado como un museo y para muchos que no saben está abierto al público y completamente gratis. Solo que vengan, nomás no se me van a asustar con los fantasmas que se dice que rondean este lugar. The White Pool House Friends is a non-profit organization and they gladly accept your donations to keep this lovely historic landmark open to the public. But there is one thing they they do say the place is haunted! It's right here in your city. Historical and pretty. The ghosts are really friendly. So come meet us at the house. Da 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 the White Pool House is the oldest standing structure here in Odessa, Texas, originally built by the White family and then later acquired by the Pool family in the 1920s, seen in this photo up here. Well, what's so special about it? Well, the White Pool House is rich in American history, starting from the ownership of the 640 acres all the way to the China sitting here on the tables. So, how is this house still standing? Well, thanks to the Edgar County History Commission, the home was luckily preserved. This home runs purely on visitors and donations. So please, bring your family, bring your friends, and come down to the White Pool House. Hey, that's pretty cool and all, but where's the pool at? The location of White Pool House is 112 East Murphy Street. In the end, Team Eric was criticized for not using all their actors on screen because this being an acting competition, we were looking for the actors to act, not just their voices. And even though the judges really enjoyed Kermit's performance, in the end, the win went to Team Rachel for two reasons. One, they reached a wider demographic, having the commercial both in Spanish and in English. And also they answered some of the questions um, that we were looking for when we set out the challenge as far as what the White Pool House is. And they did mention the friends of the White Pool House. And so they seemed a lot better organized and the commercial was a lot more informational. So I hope that by watching this that you want to go down and see the White Pool House for yourself. Uh, the museum's hours are Wednesday through Saturday and you can call the number at bottom of the screen here for more information. Admission, as they said in the commercials, were free. And as Eric says, there's no pool, so don't take your bathing suit. Well, this was Odessa Acting Workshop and Competition for this week. And next week, we have something really scary as the contestants have to run for their lives in what we like to call the Horror Challenge. Who's after them? Who runs them over? And how many times can a contestant fall down before they're killed? Oh my god! What's taking you so long is right behind us! No, we the car won't start! We can't sit here and just wait to be killed! I don't know what to do! Oh my god! I don't know what to do! Okay, we have to make a run for it! We're gonna run to the theater and see if we can hide in there! You ready? Go. Hi, my name is Mr. Poole and this is my house. <laughs> <laughs> mm, scary. Wouldn't that be like if a ghost sighted in? If we was just all sitting here and a ghost just walked by and was like, what's up? I'd just be like, hey. <laughs> What's up? Tell my mama I said hi. Y'all hungry? <laughs> tell, my, tell my mama I said what's up.